So in this video, I will show you how you can create this type of roads with proper landscape deformations within Unreal Engine 5. So this is going to be the most easiest and the simplest way to create this type of things. So the first thing you have to do is you have to create a landscape. So if you go to your this button and you have to just click on this landscape after that you will see this type of grid you can decrease the number technically we can just leave this thing like that and we can just create this this is our landscape in order to create those type of roads you have to just go to your manage section you will get a spline option you have to click on this and then you have to hold your control and then you have to right click oh sorry left click and then you can just create this type of roads so for now i will just i will just stretch this thing like this okay so this is my road probably this will look good okay okay so this is looking good but what if i want to make this road deform with the stuff so you can see the height of this thing is quite a bit higher than the main landscape so what i want is i want it to be deformed in this area so in order to deform this, you have to just go to your, um, I think segments, you have to click on segments. No, you don't have to click on this one. You will see option of deform landscape to spline. You have to just click on all selected. And now you will see that this is kind of deformed. Uh, but the main problem you will face with this method is when I change this, it will not gonna update. We have to click this all spline again, but you will see that this thing is there. This is not looking good because we are having that thing right there. It is not uh, blending properly also and it is just kind of a mess right now. And if I change the direction of this thing again, it will not gonna remove this too. It will create another one. So this is not a good option or this is not a good method to work with because this is kind of a non-destructive way. You can't change anything. So now I will show you the best method you can do that will help you to move your spline and you can update this deformation in real time. So just I will just press Ctrl Z to undo everything. So in this one, you will see a layer option. You have to create a layer and we have to select a landscape edit layer spline and you will see that we are getting a spline option there so the spline one is the deformation one and the layer one is our main landscape one so if i disable the spline one you can see we are getting our old landscape back and if i enable this you will see we are getting this one again so the advantage of this thing is we can move this thing in real time and it will deform automatically we don't have to do anything you can see we don't have to click on this all spline nothing you can just move this thing down also it will create this type of gap i don't know why this is creating oh okay Maybe we are having a mesh there so i will just remove that and let's try again so you can see there we are having a proper deformation of landscape so for example if you want to create some kind of tunnel or something like that so you can just down this and you can create this type of tunnel this is not not even close to a tunnel, but yeah, you get my point, I think. So this is the basics of how you can use real-time deformation, your layering system. You can even create more layers, but I will not recommend that. And for example, if you want to create more roads, you have to just click on this point and then you have to uh, click on this, hold control and then click. So you will create this type of uh, road and I can also move this thing up and yeah it will look something like that so this is the easiest way you can do this thing in real time and you can just move this thing around whatever you want to do with this thing similarly like this you can create whole road system with this things and the fun part is you can now easily spawn any kind of mesh in this uh, spline so for example if i click on the segments you have to just go to your detail panel you will get this type of thing and i want to spawn some mesh on this road so that it can look good uh, so you have to just click on the control points you have to go down not control points i think these segments yeah and you will get an option of spline meshes you have to just add this i will recommend you to just turn off this cast shadow option and then you can just expand this index one you will get an option of mesh you have to give a mesh there so i will just search for road and probably uh, i can just give this static mesh road and now you can see we are having some kind of road there and right now it is not visible that much because we don't have any material so we have to just give a material material override and then we have to add this and i can just give some kind of rock probably m road let's try this one i don't know if this will work 
yeah you can see we are having this type of road and this is looking good uh, right now you can see we have some intersections of landscape and the road so in order to fix this you have to just click on all segments or you can just click on this one we have to increase this center adjustment so it will just uh, lift your road just a bit from your landscape so that you can properly see your roads and right now you will see that we are having an issue that the roads are not in proper directions uh, we want to flip this so in this one you will get the option of forward axis you have to just go down and you have to select y and now you can see we are having proper roads so this one is fixed but you will notice that we are not having this thing and this stuff so you have to select this too manually and then you can just add your road so we'll just type road we'll just select this and i will assign this okay so now you can see we are having roads everywhere similarly like this you can create your whole road system and the advantage of this method is if you go to your sculpt option and if i just uh sculpt on my layer one uh, you can see it is not affecting the base stuff it is not sculpting at those areas after this we can just go to the manage then we can just click on the spline and where is my point we have to go down i will select my point and then i can just control hold and left click and then i can easily create another road there so you can see this is the advantage of this method layering system it will not gonna affect anything and you can easily create your road or anything you want to do so if i just turn out this spline you can see we are having our sculpted landscape and if i turn on this you will get your road and for example if i disable the layer one also you can see we are removing the sculpting one so for example uh, you don't want to affect your main landscape you can just create a new uh, layer landscape edited layer and you can do your editing in this layer also you can sculpt your thing in this layer also so if i just go to the sculpt mode and if i'm just sculpting this like that and if i want to remove this you can just go there and you can disable your layer so that's the advantage of having layers in your spline system not spline system but yeah a landscape layer system combine your splines your sculpted layer or anything you want to add in this layers and it's gonna be non-destructive and it will look cool also so yeah that's it for this tutorial i think this will help you thank you for watching <laughs>